there are a couple of content creators that pop up in my feed every now and again. I'm not subscribed to their channel, but if they have a clickbait title, I will definitely go watch. So I want to discuss a topic about each of these content creators. So let's start first of all with the first one. So the first one is called That's So Ralph and Aya. So Oh, that's Joshua's phone. I thought it was the ring doorbell going off. Yeah, so this is a couple where the girl is young. She's about 24, she says. The husband is somewhere between 45 and 47. I think they're kind of lying about their age to a degree, but that doesn't matter. It's still a big age gap, right? I don't know what is wrong with this little girl, why she ran out of her mom and dad's house to marry this old man. When you look at the man from a distance, he looks young, but when he's dehydrated from working too much and the camera goes in, for, for a closer look, you can see his age. Not that he looks older than his age, but you can see that is he's in his late 40s, right? Mid to late 40s. So they have a little baby that's 10 months old. And I think maybe this uh, channel came across my feed with a shorts or something when the baby was about five months old, all right? So at that point, they were living in Poland because I guess originally he's from Poland. And I talked about her a couple of times here on the page too, by the way. So... Um, they had the baby in Poland and she talked about not wanting another baby ever because she said there was something with their blood, you know, where she, she had to get a lot of blood tests and they had to make sure there was nothing going to be wrong with the baby and yada, yada, yada. I didn't know what it was. And one day after they moved back to Arizona, I really feel like she was getting deported from Poland because he was trying to let her get her papers over there, but he was doing it himself because they're cheap. And I think something happened where she got turned down. And I don't think she should have gotten turned down if he had used a lawyer because the baby was born there. You know what I mean? But in any case, they made a mad dash back for the state. So I really feel like she was going to get deported from there. I don't know. Okay, this is just me being intuitive. So anyways, they came back to Arizona and they bought some type of house in Arizona and they had to break it down to the studs and build it back up. So they were living in this apartment and they were living in this hotel, yada, yada. Now they're in the house. They have one bedroom, set up one bathroom and the kitchen and a little living room area. The rest of the house is still being built, all right, or renovated. What's that? Oh, my little rose fell off the wall. I'll fix it later. So, um, yeah, so she, she made a video maybe a couple months ago, three months ago, where you could see that she had just gotten through crying. Her eyes were still wet. And she says, I was so upset because I thought I was pregnant and I don't want to be pregnant. And she was just like tripping. And I'm saying to myself, well, if you don't want to be pregnant, there's things to do to stop that. But I'm like, okay, she's young. Nobody's talking to her, right? So um, I said, maybe it's clickbait because a lot of people that watch families like this on YouTube, they always want to know when you're going to have another baby. This man has a daughter that's the same age of his wife, that he didn't raise that daughter, okay? So I don't know that he wants another baby. So then a few um, episodes later, she says, we, we definitely want another baby, but in the future. Things are too hectic right now. We're still building this house. We're in a hotel, whatever. And then another video came later where she says, we want another baby and we're not going to do anything to prevent it. This baby 10 months old. Girl, if you get pregnant right away, you're going to have them back to back. You can't handle this baby already. She just started to walk. She's glued at her hips, right? I'm like, okay, it's not my business, not my baby. Let me not worry about these people business. So then she did a show last night where she did a question and answer type thing because that's what they'll do when they don't have any content to put up because they're vloggers. So as it is, they don't have much content to put up. And so I guess she had a brand collab or a sponsor where it's one of these computer rise, like a chat GPT for astrology. And she wants her viewers to sign up for it. Of course, a lot of her viewers are dragging her in the comments like, that's demonic. We don't want that. Why would you get that brand collab? Yada, yada. I don't care. Astrology doesn't scare me. I just don't understand it. So I will dabble in it. I like numerology better. So anyways, she asked a couple of questions that she claimed people asked her on Instagram, but people in the chat are saying, nobody asked you nothing on Instagram. You're making up these questions just for content. I don't think I mind that either. If you want to like divulge things about yourself. So you ask the question. So then she said, let's ask, people always ask them, are they going to have another baby? That's what she said. That's one of the questions. So they're going to ask the chat GPT type astrology thing. And the answer took a half hour to come back. Well, they paused it and came back half hour later. And it was a big dissertation telling her that she was going to get pregnant again. The best time to try would be June or October. And that she was going to need to be on their doctor's care because there was going to be some health issues, but that she was going to be okay and that she was going to have a boy. Remember I told her the husband had an older daughter and they have a daughter together. So of course, oh boy, yada, yada. So 
She started to say what had happened when the baby was born and the husband started to talk over her. So this is what I've picked up. She said that when the baby was born, well, the husband said this part, that the mom's blood mixed with baby's blood and that antibodies were building up and that it could cause a problem, you know, if they got pregnant again. So I think what they're talking about, honestly, guys, is about RH factors, RH positive and RH negative. If you're an RH negative mother and you have an RH positive baby and the antibodies built up before they gave you the Rogam injection, any subsequent pregnancy is detrimental to the baby. So why would they want to get pregnant again? So my question is, are they lying not about that part, but about the part that they want to try again? Because I'm sure the doctors have told her what could happen to any subsequent baby. You know what I mean? Now, how I know about all of this is because I'm an RH negative mother and I have three RH positive children without revealing our blood types and stuff like that, right? And so um, my children, well, with my pregnancies, when I got pregnant with Josh, after he was born, they tested him. They saw that he was a positive baby because they didn't test Joe at the time, right? And so they gave me the Rogam injection, which is the, and is it the antibodies? I don't know what's in that injection. But in any case, it prevents any problems from happening with the subsequent pregnancies. So the second pregnancy was Jory, and they gave me the Rogam at 28 weeks. And then again, they tested him after he was born. He was positive. So they gave me the Rogam shot again. Now, that shot wasn't cheap back then. Jory's 32. It was $386 back then, and I had to pay $99 out of it twice because I had the 80-20 type of insurance. So then I had a miscarriage after Jory, between Jory and Jada. And so they didn't have, they had the fetus, but it was too tiny for them to test and all that. So they just went ahead and gave me the Rogam, as they should. I'm breeding with an RH positive man, you know what I mean? So, uh, and even if they didn't know that, let's say I didn't know who my baby daddy was, they, they still couldn't take any chances because I'm an RH negative mother. So anyways, um, the third, the fourth pregnancy and the third baby was Jada. They gave me the Rogam at 28 weeks. They tested her. She's RH positive. They gave me the Rogam again. So I got Rogam one, one, two, three, six times. I got Rogam six times in my lifetime, right? They put it right here in your hip. Ooh, that's like a burn. So anyways, um, I don't know what happened when that baby was delivered. I don't know if the antibodies were making fast. I don't know what they do in Poland. I don't know if they have Rogam over there. I assume they do, right? But whatever they're saying, there's a lie in there somewhere. Either that thing didn't go as bad and the Rogam worked and they gave her the Rogam and she's fine to have another pregnancy or something got messed up and they told her, you should not get pregnant again because the baby, there's a, a bunch of damage that could happen to the baby. Now, if she got pregnant with an RH negative baby, it'd be fine. But you can't choose that. How can you choose that? How can you test the baby in utero to see the blood type to see if you have to get rid of it? You know what I mean? So I'm telling the story because I feel like there's a line there somewhere. And Jada was listening over my shoulder and she's like, oh my God, is she talking about the stuff you went through, mom, with the Rogam? These people are so, she goes, I feel like they're lying about something. You know, even Jada was picking up on that. So let's go quickly into the second content creator because I don't want these videos to be too long. This one's the Jacksons of Atlanta. Not subscribed to them either. This woman has six, six babies in the course of five years. Two sets of twins. I think the first set is five years old. And then the second set, maybe close to three. The third pregnancy she claimed was twins. And in the chat, when you read their chat in those videos, the people are like, she was lying. And the people sent um, gifts for twins. And she said when she went to go deliver, one wasn't born. That's a lie. Because once a baby hits 20 weeks, you have to name it, you have to get a death certificate, and you have to bury it or cremate it, right? You have to do some type of a burial. So I'm like, some kind of lies in there somewhere. Anyways, that's a single birth. That baby is a little bit over one. And then she had a baby last year, like September, October. We don't know the date because they lie about the delivery date because their videos are one month in advance. So right after that baby was born, baby was probably three or four months old, they started to do these videos where they say they're divorcing. Girl, girl, we see you. I don't believe this is true. You know, the husband is a whole clown. He wants to be the next Tyler Perry. And I didn't like watching them because of the way he talks to her. A lot of sexually explicit things he says to her on camera and they don't edit it out. 
and pretty much their show is made for kids because people watch for the sake of the kids you know what i mean so i think they're trying to leave that channel for just the kids and clean it up and then she go off on her own channel and she talks adult thing for women and then he goes off on his channel and he does skits and stuff like that and they're really committed to this whole thing about them divorcing you see videos where she's taking the small baby for a doctor visit on her own who's watching the other five kids whenever they hire nannies they're young little nannies then you'll hear his voice in there sometimes yawning and she'll say oh he just dropped off because he took you know the the third baby not the third baby the fifth baby the third pregnancy he took the fifth baby last night to give me a break and i had the other kids i'm telling you no mother no matter how strong she is can go with five-year-old twins three-year-old twins and some of the kids look like they're on the spectrum for autism i think she said one of them was one of the kids were she didn't say the others were but some of them look like they are that's just me observing maybe not you know i don't like to i don't want to label people kids with stuff so maybe they're just quiet you know what i mean but in any case i really feel like it's a lie and i feel like at some point when they get back together they're gonna say oh we got back together for the sake of the kids you know and and they're gonna mess around and find out with their audience because at first the audience was like oh my god poor thing poor thing and now they're like we hate him we feel like you're happier without him around we feel like the kids are more relaxed without him around please don't take him back and the audience are very invested and i think they're playing in their audience's faces now why am i talking about this because i get heated when content creators lie I don't lie to my viewers. I don't lie to my, if I can't tell you the whole story, I won't even tell you a piece of the story. Because I don't think it's right to just tell you, well, you know, this, this, this happened and I can't tell you the rest. You know what I mean? So the reason that I study these channels sometimes is because I want to see how they got into the algorithm. You know, because I put up a clean show for my cooking show and for the life of me, I can't get into the algorithm. People might say, well, you have over 100,000 subscribers, Barbara, so you are in the algorithm. I was in it at some point early on because I've been at this 12 and a half years. But along the way, like the food stuff just got dead. And I know that there's other YouTube channels that come up with food and they're doing well, but they fit like a niche, like they belong to the LGBTQIA community or they're um, a single mom with 10 kids trying to make it off of $5 or they're um, a mixed couple, you know, with blended children that are, you know, trying to do this. And, and it's just like, I don't feel like I meet any of YouTube's criteria. And I'm not trying to be depressed or anything. I watch other channels to study it out. So I don't know if you guys are going to go watch those people's channels and see what I'm talking about if you're even interested. But this is a topic that interested me today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like what I produce here today, go ahead and hit like button. Of course, subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment because I want to hear if you guys watch these people and what you all think. All right. Take care.